Hey everyone, Ricky Fox here, and uh, today I have the Nexus 6 on the left, Motorola that made Nexus 6, and the Nexus 5X on the right, and um, this is a side-by-side -side performance comparison. So this is a startup, obviously. The 5X comes in just before the Nexus 6 does, um, as you can see. Yeah, the, the Nexus 6 was so bad on the table, it just kept rocking everywhere. It was just the most annoying thing in the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up iHeartRadio, and I believe the, I Heart, the 5X comes up just before the Nexus 6 does. Um, by the way, the Nexus 5X looks like it has deeper colors because of the angle that I'm filming it at. So I'm gonna do something different next time. Um, so this is Asphalt 8. Um, Asphalt 8 did open faster on the 5X. And lagging behind is the Nexus 6. There it is. Now, because the Nexus 5X has much less RAM than the Nexus 6, it has, you know, two-thirds of the RAM, once I opened heavier apps, because they were still in the multitasker, the 5X's performance went down dramatically, so now the 5X is catching up to the Nexus 6, or the other way around, the Nexus 6 is catching up to the Nexus 5X because there's more memory that's being rearranged so that the Nexus 5X can open these heavy games. Here's Crossy Road opening up, and uh, the Nexus 6 goes in first before the Nexus 5X can actually open it. Because there are different factors that are affecting the performance of these two devices, you know, the different technologies in RAM and the different RAM sizes, as well as the different processors with different speeds. There's just too many variables to be able to directly compare. So while the first apps did open much faster on the Nexus 5X, um, the Nexus 6 is better at multitasking than the Nexus 5X because the Nexus 5X only has 2 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the Nexus 6 has 3 gigabytes of RAM. That's just stating the obvious. So here I am actually closing Asphalt 8 because it's so heavy on the RAM and it really was affecting the performance. So then I opened up Subway Surfers again and I don't remember what happens here. I think it just comes out the same. So the Nexus 6 had it quicker there. And you know, it could even be the read speeds, the, the, the speeds that the memory is able to be read. That can affect the speed as well. And it, it, any way you sliced it, it was the same thing. It came out first on the Nexus 6 for the game. Um, Alright, so Zedge is next. And I think the Nexus 5X wins this one. Yeah, the Nexus 5X won. And it, you know, it really depends on also the complexity of the app. That's a subway map app, and you know it, it beat it first, beat to it. The camera definitely opens faster on the 5X than the Nexus 6. What else is next? Spotify. Spotify, the Nexus 6 beat them. And Comedy Central. They look like a tie. This is a subway map. This is a bus GPS app. And now, Ingress opening up. For those of you Ingress players, Ingress on the Nexus 6 is loading much slower than on the Nexus 5X. Particularly locking on a GPS signal. Now, in real world, the 5X definitely performs better on ingress, locking in GPS in general, and loading the portals, and the whole loading of the game takes much less time on the 5X than on the 6P. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the Nexus 6 and the Nexus 5X playing Asphalt 8. Now note all the dropped frames on the Nexus 6 on the bottom right corner while the Nexus 5X is playing it much smoother, but it still does have some dropped frames. The Nexus 
excuse me, the iPhone 6s actually had the best gaming experience I ever played well, on this game, particular game. Um, it was very smooth and there was no overheating at all. So, a number of variables contributed to the performance between these two, including processor, RAM, and memory read speeds. So be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.